a centering pass. They were looking for Garvin, didn't connect, and now Rotondi will take it out into center ice and send it in down low into the flame zone. Yesterday's game plan for the Grizzlies was a very much a kind of dump, bang, hit, take it to the net, a gritty style of hockey. Sometimes we hope the Flames do it, and this time they do. A pass in front, and Garvin finds the back of the net, one nothing right off the bat. Love the start by the Flames. They also got a new horn, it sounds like, in the building. What a great start. You dump the puck, you talk about how Oakland played the similar game plan yesterday. And this is what we've been hoping to see at the Liberty Flames all season long. They dump the puck in, Garcia gets the rebound off the goaltender, keeps using his speed, drives around the net, this is a nice backhand row front. And when you have your top goal scorer coming in, Grant Garvin, he's gonna make you pay. He'll backpedal to his own blue line, a quick D to D, Shantz ahead, Lamaru with it once again. He'll just chip that one in, Gula plays it back behind his net, wraps it around, Shart's activating in from the point. Hayes towards the net, tipped in front, rebound comes out, Rhodes able to pick it up, he'll send it near side, the Flames keep it in, Hayes down deep, Ward in, shot, scores! What a play by Robert Ward, great patience, and he makes it 2-0. Welcome back, Robert Ward, we've seen this guy with a couple of highlight real goals this season, and he adds one to the list here, what a nice move as he comes in on the goaltender, 1-0, on oh. so smooth with those silky mitts, Kind of having a down year, offensively scoring. He's more of an assist man this year, but when he gets chances in on the goaltender like this, he's money in the bank. And he makes a nice move right there. Trevor Kidd can't get the pad over in time. You know a lot about that being a fan of the <laughs> yeah. Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I remember that Vesitasco game. Oh, that was the worst one, I think, of all time. You know what's funny, though? Nobody remembers actually after that. He had one of the better games in his a Leafs jersey, and they won, like 5-2. Puck comes out in front, Rotondi gets it past Byron, and we've got a 2-1 hockey game. Talking about the Maple Leafs. Nice pass out in front. Kind of catching the Liberty Flames sleeping right here. It was kind of a nothing play where they just let down defensively. D coverage just wasn't great here, as you're gonna see. A couple guys, a couple red jerseys, just standing still, stationary, a guy out in front, nobody over on him, they're kind of, they got three guys over on the boards, you gotta cover that guy in front, communication is key. Gerv. I'd like to see, to be honest with you, non-ACHA games not counting for your ranking. In a lot of ways it would make a lot of sense. Because if you're gonna play a Division II team, and you're a D1 team, that's fine, it'll still count for that. Pass in front, Garcia caught the goaltender Gula sleeping, and he'll make it four to one. Pardon me, three to one. Not as talking as well, Garcia in the slot. Very similar goal we saw in the first period on the side of Oakland. A, a, a kind of a nothing play along the boards in the Grizzlies, thinking about hibernating in their own zone right there as they were just all clogged along the boards. No one covering the man out in front. Take a look at Garcia, just wide open, and he just, he's able to let one rip. The defender ends up getting up there way too late. Garcia, nice shot, and he's got a goal here. But Liberty Flames, you gotta like that job there by Robert Ward. And the Flames off the face off, put another one in the back of the net. 4 1 now the score. Ooh, this is Kyle Garcia once again. A two goal game for Kyle. His dad just tweeted at me. Can we see the first one again? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to say Here no now. I'll Here's show you the second point. one though. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, probably one of the uglier ones that you'll see. He ends up sneaking oh. this one off of a foot, <laughs> and the goaltender sliding across the other way, but good things happen when you shoot the puck. I believe this one did go off of a skate. That's why the goaltender sliding off, off to that side. It's a nice save there by Carey, but shooting the puck, good things happen. Roberts with it. Things are gonna go on a shortened power play in about 56 seconds time. A blind. Backhanded pass, cross ice, found its way onto an Oakland stick. Rotondi in, his shot scores! Ryan Rotondi, the offensive defenseman, puts up his eighth goal of the year. I think this is one that honestly just catches Carey a little bit. 
As I don't think he's had a shot in quite some time now. It's a bit through a screen. Goes over the blocker, definitely one that he'd love to have back. It's well, top of the, the circle. Pad. It's a great shot, but I think if he's seen some more shots in this period of late, he probably has that one. It's been quite some time since he had a decent shot on goal, but Grizzlies, long way back in this game, you saw it. Early in the first, they are down by a goal. They got one back. Opportunity out yep. here. Down 4-2. Can they do what the Flames did last night? Get Teeter tied up. Maybe win it overtime. We will find out. Puck goes deep. Kilgore looking for it. Zachariah Roberts in on the four check. It's sent out in front. Garcia spins, shoots. That goes into the corner. Garvin in front. Roberts rebound. Garcia the hat trick. Somebody ought to tell him senior night isn't tonight. <laughs> Why not stay? He's having a game here, right? Hat trick goal. Just getting into the right spots at the right time. And it's all the front of that. Exactly. Firing the firing the puck. And that's another one where he's just getting to the gritty area of the ice. Getting to the front of the net. He gets the rebound off of that shot. None of his goals were highlight flashy, but you know what? You don't really care. Three big goals, the hat trick goal coming off of another ugly one. You gotta love to see it. Kyle Garcia, the senior, with his hat trick. Roberts looking back door. Garvin was calling for it. Never made its way to him. Sean's with it now. Protects it, drops it back. Sharts playing it ahead, turns it over. Rotondi, a shot, scores! A huge giveaway by Sharts. Right onto the stick of Rotondi. He sends it through. And just tapping that one in the back of the net was Frank Saputo. Yeah, Flames trying to break it out of their own zone right there. As a defenseman, you learn this from an early age. Off the glass, off the boards, and for the Flames, you throw it up the middle, bad things are gonna happen like that, especially from your own corner, right onto the stick. And Oakland, they make you pay. Kerry Byron gets a big chunk of that one, but not enough as that one ends up slipping into the back of the net. A couple unorthodox saves. We got a game on our hands here. Only the two goal lead for the Flames right now. Here comes Garvin with speed in on Jacobs. Roberts with it now. Looks in front, scores! Wow! Knocked out of the air by Garvin. It was definitely under the bar, and the Flames regain the three goal lead. Wow. All I can say is, wow. What a job there by Grant Garvin. Take a look at this. Zachary Roberts, he's firing a shot here, I think, and Garvin ends up getting a stick on this one, deflecting it in. What tremendous hand-eye coordination at the side of the goal. The Liberty Flames' top goal scorer adds another one. He's got two on the game tonight. Scored the first one for the Flames, and now he adds the sixth goal. Six to three, Liberty Flames lead. Played for Davenport, Phil Wendecker. Smooth skating D, not the fastest, probably not the best at any one given portion of the game, but overall, they're the complete package on the back end. Jacobs winds up, his shot scores! That was a bullet from the point. Well, it finally happened. Power play marker for the Oakland Grizzlies, the first on the weekend. They have been so stone cold when it comes to the power play marker, and you said, you keep taking penalties, eventually they're gonna get one. And that one comes with 11 minutes and 28 seconds left in this third period. Now putting them down by just two goals. Take a look at their shot here from the point. That one's ripped through some traffic. And it's a tough one to see as a goaltender. It sails all the way into the back of the cage. Six to four now the lead for the Flames. Who's able to not be in the lineup. But you're okay with fighting here and there. It's tough because you know he's going to be out for a game and no one likes the suspension. Garcia on the rush. It goes in front. One in the net. They're waving it off. Jacobs smashed into the crossbar. Great back check by him. Tremendous skater. Garcia with his fourth of the night. If that one gets called. Yeah, it looked like it snuck through the goaltender's wickets. He was reading 
pass, and it kind of came in on goal. Take Possibly just went through the pads. Garcia throwing a backhander here. Off, the, off stick. Of the stick. You know what, you can use you replay. This is the perfect, this is the perfect view of it. That one's just it. That's yeah, a that's, a, that's a good goal. That should be Kyle Garcia's fourth goal of the game. Here's the deal, they can use replay. They have, it's a rule, if a team yep. has replay, that just they came can into use the league it. last year. It looks like they're dropping the puck here at center. Good goal. Well, they're calling it a goal, so it is going to be 7-4. We didn't even get the horn going off. Cal Garcia. Go. There it four is. goals in the game. Not bad. That's almost as many goals as he's had all year. <laughs> Not Tr bad. Ward. Top of the circle, nice pass across. Shards a shot. That's off the glove. Shards controlling it still. Wow, to pass. Near side, Garvin towards the front of the net. Wow, Garcia number five. Goodness sakes, what a pass in front. Kyle Garcia now with 10 goals on the year, matching his season total in goals incredible. in one game. Incredible. Fantastic. What a game. What an incredible effort. Garcia, you couldn't be happier for five goals in the game. I don't know what to say. He's got me stumped right now. Oh, that's 10, ten now. seconds left. Is that he... puts him at third on the team. He passes Chase <laughs> Harris in the game, passes now Owen Harris. Nice job just redirecting that one. They're saying fourth of the night. They're wrong. They're wrong. Five of the night. That will put him one goal back of Danny Logan. For That's two on the team. Incredible. So How many back? One goal back, a second on the team. <laughs> That's insane. Unbelievable. What a night for Kyle Garcia. A great night for the Liberty Flames. They take this one by a score of eight to four. Wasn't an easy game. Nope. It looks like it might be on the scoreboard, but Oakland battled back time and time again, but the Flames always seem to have an answer. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it. Kyle Garcia almost single-handedly beats Oakland. He scores five goals. He does. any of the Liberty goals, That's they right. still win by a score of five to four, but great effort by the Flames. You know, Grant Garvin put in two. Let's see all five. He starts things off correct, gets them going, but let's take a look at the work by Garcia. Some puck luck tonight. The first one quick coming off shot. of a quick shot. Great shot there. That one was a nice redirection there in front. And the puck luck continuing with this one right here as uh, that one goes off of the stick of the defenseman in front. And sliding in the back of the net. Here is his last one. I believe that we still are missing one in between, but still. There it was. They yeah, showed there you go. The there. There's yeah. the one off of the skate, I believe. Yeah. It goes in the other corner. What a night. He'll want the game tape from this one. That's for sure. What a night for Garcia. And the Flames pick up their second straight win. Now improving their record to nine and seven at home. You have to think, you know, he's he's engaged, I believe. A couple of years down the line, has a kid. He's gonna be like, kids, you need to watch this game. <laughs> <laughs> I you know did that this. I did this every night. Yep, Garcia's thinking in his the back of his mind. Oh man, I could have scored five <laughs> goals more often. <laughs> What a night, though. You got to be happy for the young man. Number 18 for the Flames, five goals. I don't think I've ever seen that here in my time as a Liberty Flame. Nope, not so. at all. Nice to see both sides come together in prayer to finish this one off. It's a hard fought battle between both sides. And like Kirk said, two rivals that have a lot of respect for one another. They've been going against each other since Kirk Candy began coaching this team. Yeah, definitely a lot of respect. I love to see that, the two teams coming together at the end and just willing to uh, you know, take a prayer together. It's what it's all about. Good to see a lot of respect for those guys from Oakland. And we had some good games between the two clubs this weekend. And now we send it down to Monica. She's with Kyle Garcia. 
All right, you scored five goals in tonight's game, doubling your season total of goals. So just tell us how. Uh, a lot of it's just having good line mates, and um, I was just in the right place at the right time to put the puck in. I'm just happy we got a victory. Now looking ahead to next weekend, I think you're nervous your teammates are coming to mess with you or something. Yeah, I can see them over there with the pie. They always have something up their sleeve. But yeah. next weekend, looking ahead, facing off NCAA D1 opponent, how does a game like that kind of prepare you guys and push you guys to play better? Uh, I think it's a good test of where we're at. And <laughs> all right. You're two for two for getting stuff on your face in an interview with me. I'm sorry. I apologize. I think it's all your fault. I'm sorry. I take responsibility. Um, I don't know. That actually tastes pretty good. All right. Well, then you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, no, we just want to go out and do our best and win or lose. It's, you know, it's always been a dream of these guys to play like an NCAA Division One game. And so um, I'm just going to go play my best and whatever happens, happens. Well, hopefully five more goals. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Huge night for Kyle Garcia. Can happen to a better Give guy. A towel for goodness sake. I know sake. the poor guy. You know, oh, we gotta get the uh, LFSN towel they do for like yeah, CBC right? and stuff. They just put it around the neck and That's right. there you just go. Just in case, right? What well, a night there by Garcia. What a night by the Flames. Eight goals at home. You gotta love it. Liberty Flames heating up. Hopefully, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens come ranking time. But yeah, you gotta like the effort here tonight and the valiant effort to make a comeback victory last night, win that game five to four in overtime. Well, the next time we see at home, the Liberty Flames will know their fate, whether or not they're gonna make it to the national tournament that's being held in Chicago, Illinois this year. It's gonna come down to the wire, a fantastic effort by them, eight for the final score. For Brandon Coburn, I'm Rhett McGibbon. We're gonna say good night and God bless from the high side.